Tuesday morning now, just woke up, checked my messages on Bricklink Cap 1. I will issue you a refund for these items. Damage happens, no problem. I'll refund. Yes, damage happens, but you can prevent that by not selling it. <laughs> Whatever. Um, and then I have three Brick Owl orders here. And I got three more Bricklink orders, a total of 13 lots, I think. So. So this is all since last night at 7.30 because I shipped, up, shipped out everything that was paid before 7.30 last night or I, I packed it up so get this done and I did not even check eBay here and apparently I didn't sell anything let's try that again click over here go there nothing try it again my eBay please wait nothing <laughs> okay. Um, the bell's just not working. Let's see, so we have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items and seven orders. Well, this is uh, something I haven't been really keeping tabs on Google AdSense. The deposit I just got. Wow. All right, I just went through one Bricklink order. See, well, the, this guy was complete. This is a bunch of CMFs and a couple other figures. So I have some for photographs now, and I'm gonna go open up any of these that I need to sell on eBay, probably. Probably just open them all, I guess. There's no reason to keep them sealed there. I mean, some of them are worth more sealed that are not worth much, I guess. But that's not, I don't really care. Probably gonna open them up and part them out. The ones I already have a lot of. I'm doing their new pieces, so that's always a plus to have new, older CMF stuff. So I'll part them. Probably, yeah, I'll definitely open them all up and part out some. And obviously, these all the three lizards I'm gonna keep. I'll keep relisting on eBay, or I can do three. I can do a three listing as new because they are new. So there we go. Three for three on the lizard. I'm just going to get my cards for these ones. Um, Here's my Series 5. The only thing card I have in Series 5 that I don't have for sale is this. It seems pretty common. I pretty much always have a lot of Series 5 for sale. They must have really produced a lot of them. Um, but this is the ones I might be waiting for parts. Like I don't, I don't have her torso. It might actually be here by now because it's a pretty common torso. It's an evil dwarf. I don't. I, I know. I know. I have his helmet coming. Um, the gladiator. I just don't have a shield. So it looks like there's quite a few in here that I. Uh, the graduate. I'm not sure if I got a graduate though. I just don't have his his gown and his diploma, which is the gown is extremely hard to find. Not extremely, but you just gotta pay quite a bit for it. It's not really always worth it, but he actually sells for about almost 15 bucks at times. I've I've done. And then series three, uh, I have a gorilla guy for sale apparently. What series three did I get? I only got three of them, I think. So we got the tennis, the gorilla. And baseball so I do not need any of those well, I guess I didn't film anything but I just parted out um, these monkey kids I had eight bags I had nine I gave one to my son he wanted and I parted out I guess I can go back and just show you back parted him out twice added two full figures uh, yeah, so I added three complete bags um, to my store and uh, I guess that's it. it, doesn't show me anymore. And I parted out four and I kept one for my conventions for now. I have a, a sale in three weeks, I think, four weeks. Middle of October, so I'll take that there. So now I'm gonna move on to clearing this up. So I did get the refund for all this stuff and it is gonna go, just dump this bag into my, I just have a thing on my desk. I just dump it in until it gets full and I put it in a, another container. All right, let's check in on HP Instant Ink. This is nice because now I can see how many pages I actually printed. So from August 21st to September 20th, 807 pages. And it is uh, $19.99 a month for 700 pages, and each additional 20 is a dollar. So I would have paid, well, here's it, here it is. 
uh, was it because I had 801 or 807 so it ended up charging me uh, six dollars extra but I did get three months free of the 1999 so I'm not paying anything for that currently so that's all I had to pay so if I if I when I run out of the free stuff it'll be this will be 26 bucks and September, I mean July, the first month I was on eight fifteen. So about eight hundred is that's probably pretty much what I'll end up paying every month twenty six bucks for ink, um, which is definitely a savings. I was saying it could be thirty. I wasn't sure how many pages I actually print a month, but I'm I'm okay with that. What are you doing, Bricklink? How can you have that in your description? All right, we have a clean plate, not a clean slate. Got those all listed. And now I finally get to this. I was hoping to get through it like late last week, but other things came up. Ultimately, it's work, work, work. Um, so let's let's get this all sorted out and see what we can do. All right, so I quickly just sorted everything out. Got this set separated. Go through that last probably. Um, so these were I traded one for one, like four dollar figs, things like that. Not that. So that wasn't included, but I got all this and this for $75 trade. If you watched a previous uh, Green Bay buy sell trade video I put up and talked about it a little bit more. And that is what I wanted. Those two torsos. That one, I did not find the head for the other Dark Forest Men 3, unfortunately. Um, there's the Ice Planet Babe. Her head is terrible though, unfortunately. That would have been cool to have that set of those three. Um, got a couple western. Some we got the Bat Lord. No cape though. Some Paradisa stuff. Some other fire police stuff. Some uh, space stuff. I love this guy's face. Um, have not, I don't think I've had that head like once. It's rare I get it. This is awesome. This is all, all the pirate stuff is in here. So I'll go through that when I go through this. At the end, I'm going to take care of all these minifigures first. Oops, I did, guess I didn't look through here. There's, there's a nice old uh, Spider-Man torso. I did look at that before. It's in great condition. Um, so there's a few other things that kind of go to this, but not so much. But there's a lot of Spirus. That's, if that's how you say it. Two droids, except with one without a head. Some extra. So I'm going to piece these together, try to put a lot on, on Bricklink, because I heard it all. I heard a lot of this stuff on eBay. And we'll go from there. Now this is an interesting little piece. As I can see the mold number on it, I think. And it's got springs. Never seen it before. Apparently it's extremely common. Sold 1,800 of them the last six months. About a quarter each. Spirus is easy. You just type it in, in the search, and go down to minifigs. There's only three options, so... Either going to be building, I'll, I'll put a couple complete and a couple part out of each. So, oh, they got a name in there now. Major Kartovsky? Kartovsky. There we go. Got this for Spirus. I'm going to just do three of each, throw them on uh, Bricklink. I already have him for sale on Bricklink. I don't have any, or eBay, I don't have any of these on eBay. I could do like, I could do like a nice photo op, do like this on eBay. I make a few more bucks, but a little more time to get it going. But after that, I just keep on trying to build these guys. I might, I think I'm going to do that. But I'll still put all these on Bricklink here. All right, about to quit work in about 15 minutes, so I'm going to start cleaning up <laughs> some of this. Um, probably put this all in a bag together. I'll definitely make this priority tomorrow. The pirates. Um, here it is, most of it. Now, this is that part of that set. Um, and the rest of the pirate stuff in here and some more accessories I'm gonna put all these away right now yeah I'll probably put these in the same bit bag in here with the rest and we'll check numbers here in a bit there's stuff I've been filling up I'm adding lots of minifigs I'm surprised at the number I have uh, I was getting closer to 500 last end of last week so I haven't checked this week but we'll see all right let's see where we ended up Hmm, didn't add too much. It says I added a ton, but 185 I have to notify. But my sales for today are quite strong. So we just took 45 lots, 1 lot, 4 lot, 20 lot, 13 lots, and the 12 lot one is all from today. So pretty good stuff there, and get back to my store. 
So, um, 168, 180. I haven't parted out like a actual big Lego set. Um, going on 10 days, maybe. I didn't do one last weekend, so no, nothing was added over the weekend at all. As far as I remember, I was kind of down and out for most of Saturday. I had a lot to pack in the morning. Um, but my minifigs, there you go, 486. It was like 440 last Friday, I remember, something like that. And I did sell a number of them over the weekend. So we are getting that up. I'm just, I'm just not caring anymore. Just throwing them up because I don't have time for photographs. I do have time for photographs of the ones I want to photograph. But I'm just kind of getting to more. I'm learning more about Lego and what, how to find these other minifigures pretty easy. There's that one I just talked about I made up. I just made a card. I'm not, probably not going to print anything out. Just keep your reason, reason this one. I know what to do, to, you know, once I see it. And I have all the set numbers listed there. And I need to do photographs for some really good stuff in here. And I gotta make a couple labels there on a few guys there. And oh yeah. Remember I got all these DC mini figures? I kinda forgot. There's some really, really good stuff in there that I can get for sale. Um But yeah, um so until Wednesday. Oh the chickens are out in the coop. We moved we have three regular chickens left. They're taking over the dog kennel for the next few weeks or so, or month. And now we get this out of here. I get my uh, storage back because I'm going to make one more trip to Walmart in a day or two. I think. We'll see. Tuesday night photographs are all done for these. 5 a.m. on Wednesday. <laughs> I did come down for a half hour last night and packed a few orders because I felt like I got a couple more. I might not be able to make it in the morning. Uh, I think two of these are 20 lots, one is 40, and the rest are nothing. Like two to three lots. So uh, I think I got three more overnight. I didn't check the numbers, but the amounts, the dollar amounts are not very high. So that'll work. So let's get this done and get on to see what we got for eBay. Here's the beginning of this order. I just put this guy up yesterday. I parted out four of the um, delivery bike poly bags. Been using these bags, but they're terrible. I'm trying to use them up. I should probably just tape it. There we go. So I have this uh, minifigure here, which I got a couple of these torsos in the duffel bag. So I went ahead and bought. Somebody had a bunch of the heads. There wasn't very many people selling these heads, but I bought a bunch of them for a really good bulk price. And then uh, these caps, I think I got for 80 cents. A couple of them. So I made up three figures and made uh, this one out of the duffel bag. All right, here's the last order. It actually didn't come in that long ago. Um, there it is. It's a nice, mostly, yeah, it's one lot for most things, but got some good, good stuff in there. All right, here's the eBay. <laughs> Again, another low uh, thing. I watched a YouTube video on some eBay or that saying his sales are terribly low, and he found out that it's the promoted when you pay extra percentage points for fees um, that uh, eBay must be really pushing. So if you don't pay the extra to advertise to be a promoted listing at the top, they're really they're really uh, hiding your listings. I guess that's just the theory. Uh, anyway, I purchased uh, a few things, that, and it has some really good um, uh, superheroes. These are all superheroes. Another one has a lot of good superhero figures in there. Not a lot, but you're going to pay definitely over more than pay for the lot. 53, free shipping, 53. So I paid 106 total for these with all the vehicles. So that is awesome. Uh, I just put up a new video here. And I don't know if I um, if I mentioned this during uh, any other part of this video, so I'm just going to mention it again because I feel it's real good information. Um, so I'm explaining here, bricks on the dollar did some videos on the part of value of the Sith. I actually did one on this and the Iron Man, that Beatles one and the Iron Man. I don't, I'm not sure if he's doing the Warhol one, but I put a card in here during this video that I put out September 23rd, the link right to this video. 
there it is. All right, we are getting into this box. I have a feeling I, I haven't checked. I'm gonna see where we're at after this one I just listed. Oh, you're close. You're definitely gonna hit 1300 for the first time in 10 months. So that is awesome. Very good. All right, unless something sold, which I don't think it did. We should be there, 1302. Whew. That's great. All right, it's a good number. Almost got to halfway to 1400, basically. So, now what do we do? It's one o'clock. What do we do? All right, so here's the agenda for the rest of the day, which I'll over compensate, or say I can do so much and I can't. <laughs> this is one Brooklyn quarter actually from Canada. They said they were sending a second one, so they forgot something in the original one. And I'm not sure if this is from, it says it's a gift though. Someone's sending me gifts? That's crazy. From Sweden. So we got Sweden and Canada. I know these are probably older ones, so on my Brooklyn quarter list. I'm gonna go through these. I have a couple more I should go through, but I'm gonna go through a couple a day and try to get through some other stuff. For... All right, here's the order from Canada. Um, they prettied it up here. Very nice. I, there's chickens. You know I like chickens? Um, so this is a 10 lot order, 44 total items. And what happened was they realized they sent me the, I bought the ones with the candy canes on the back. That's the ones I needed for the newer uh, Santa that I wanted to build some of. And they said they realized they sent me the wrong one, so they sent the second package. Very nice of them. Instead of instead of refunding, that's exactly what I would do as a, as a seller, even though it's going to cost me a little bit more. Um, to send a second package, especially international, which I mean, I don't know how much it actually costs, but it, I mean, this was a thin package, so it couldn't have been the high price that some talk about when it's thick. Um, but I don't know, they didn't have to. They could have refunded and refunded some of that shipping, so I place another order somewhere else. That would have been just fine. I would have been fine with that. I would, have been, regardless, if they just refunded me for this, it's fine. But to make it the best customer service to when people remember your store, send the parts if you have them. How you do it even if it costs you money um and so yes i got these i've been waiting for the this for my bookkeeper so i do i have this I think it's, yeah, there he is i see him i have him holding the the book of monsters and this thing sells for a good amount um so yeah so i came to the store i think for those honestly and then i had these on my list as well and I need white legs, I'm glad I got some. I keep putting stuff back on my list that I keep getting in the mail. I'm like, oh, I just put that back on the list the other day, but either way, I'll need it eventually if I order more. So it's it's no big deal, it's a revolving door around here. So there's that order. All right, here's the next order from Sweden, actually, the one that I said. Um, bricks come to you. So I'll let you know what the shipping cost was. I gotta put a note in here. Love your videos, keep up the good work. Kind regards, David and Kim, thank you. You just never know when I order from people. It's more and more I get notes that they watch the videos. It's crazy. Um, I mean, as a Brickling seller, it is it's cool to watch other sellers sell things, I guess, or do how they do it. So I can see why someone on selling on Bricklink for a while will probably go to YouTube and type up Bricklink, and probably my videos come up pretty often there. Um, who knew Brick Owl were to receive it? Just see. Uh, this one, I don't know where it is. Oh, I, I guess I should know. Bricks come to you. This is my third from the bottom order. I don't know the conversion rates. <laughs> 33 uh, SEK plus 1611 additional charge SEK, which I think that's probably um, PayPal. Some places do that, which is fine. It's clearly in their description. Um, yeah, they say it right there. It's the third thing on their list. At the minimum buy. Always read the description of the piece you're buying. Yeah, that's true. PayPal is used, you have to pay. So they do offer other ways that you don't have to pay a fee, but... Um, let's see, I ordered this... September 11th. So it's the 23rd, that's pretty quick. Yeah, Europe has been getting real fast lately. All right, those couple Bricklink orders... Uh, oh, there's one over here, I forgot. A couple Bricklink orders I went through, and a couple things I realized I, I have parts to build. I didn't know. Um, I'll get these listed, a couple of them. This one definitely needs a photograph. I've only had them one other time. Sold immediately. I probably had it priced too low. And 
and that's yeah these are going right up so now I'm gonna move on to what I was doing yesterday I only have about a half an hour to do this so we'll see what we can get through in that well one dark forestman sure did not last long the other one I don't have the head for so I have to get that it's, it's a common head just in that one all right so we have three instructions here this one I know most is there um, so I started the small one I got that one built here everything the right colors and all so we're gonna package this up and put it on bricklink how much is it worth I didn't even check that uh, around seven bucks so people want almost 12 right now for it and this can be skewed because you never know if what's going on with it um, as far as pieces missing and things like that so let's see in US someone has it for 650 with instructions wrinkle a bit yeah, obviously no box I put that in my terms we don't sell used stuff with box unless noted which is seems is everything you see no box well that's pretty pretty general so I'll probably be in between the 10 and the 650 there somewhere for this little set all right so we have this set I believe I have about 85% of the parts that I found within a few minutes um, so what I what don't I have I do not have that it's like a 12 cent piece I mean I might have one somewhere I didn't really look very far um, I do not have that string which is uh, an average about four bucks used 21 length I do, I do have some strings put away, but I did not have that size, so I might have some somewhere else, I think, though. I have to look, dig up. Um, I need two more of those light gray bricks. I, tell, I mean, I could probably find if I looked for a few minutes. Yeah, I'd even look for those. I do have a bin of all gray, old gray, that I, I might go into, but those are like 10 cent pieces each, so not a big deal. Don't have any of those. Those are cheap, too, less 10 cents. That's like 15 cents, and that's it, so... I put them on my list and um, we'll see what happens when we get it completed. We get it completed. No, there's no rush on that. Oh, I forgot. I don't have the base plate either. Um, that's been on my list as soon as I got, so no, no, I knew I had this set. I know there's a lot of um, people selling it, so I wasn't too worried about getting it sooner or later. Um, you just never know with some of the sellers if they're good or not. <laughs> it's, yeah, I guess, I guess you just look at their feedback. They have three negatives, 13 neutrals. That means 13 neutrals means that they probably are not too careful with their conditions. This guy only has, he kind of newer, but only received the, that was fine. He just missed a part. No, nothing about condition. Two missing, ordered, used, all nice except one was scuffed and had the wrong head, mostly good. You know what? That happens. And I might order from this guy here. We'll see. All right, so this, this other instructions I'm not going to be trying to build because um, I'm just going to put it in with, with my instructions I have. If the three minifigs are here, which I think they are. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they are here. I might, I'm, I'll, I'll think about it when I'm done for the day. So I did order the base plate and uh, they had three other, well, three total items I needed for the set. So about halfway there. <laughs> and then the string I'll have to determine if I'm going to buy it or not at some point if I can't find it after a while. All right, it is Wednesday night, 7.01. Just got done mowing, push mowing a few acres. So if company is our last mow of the year, definitely, we almost didn't even do it this time. <laughs> uh, but it, was, it looks a lot better now. And uh, we're gonna do this. Got, I got 90 minutes before it's time to put the kids to bed, so, and all that stuff. So here we go, me and Lloyd. All right, we got it opened up. Here's what it looks like if you haven't seen one. I'm sure there's tons of videos on it. Parts there. One bag, two bag, and then these are all the studs. This is where the quantity is, and they're all already counted. So that's the best part about this set is you don't have to count them. Uh, you gotta trust that they did it right. And then here are the nine plates jammed in there, so. And we're gonna do the fun stuff here and do the part out value before we do anything. So it's 746 or 747. So these, it's funny how yeah, these are very close currently. So it's saying that I'm gonna add 20 lots. There's only 36 lots in this set, it's crazy. Um, so it's gonna, obviously this number, we'll see what we ended up, end up with here. All right, I have all the drawers out that I will need for this part out. 
I've already put those ones in there. It took me literally 10 minutes to do this once I got everything open. And I got these ready, the one bag, two bag, three bag, and then I left these in the bag until I need them. They're already color coded and all that good stuff. So uh, I probably would have gotten two. I was thinking that, yeah, should have known that these, I was thinking these might take up a whole one of these little drawers, but they definitely don't. This one's going to be close though, this gold that I already have. Um, everything else is, is good. I already have a ton of white, which I don't, cause this one doesn't even come with very many. It does not come with very many light bluish gray or sand blue. I think they both have 24 there. Otherwise, everything else is in the 90s or over 100, so let's keep going. Now, as far as pricing goes, I'm going to leave the common parts alone. I think it's just these studs. I should have looked at it, the ones, looked, the ones that said new, I took a mental note. Uh, but most of these parts are probably right, uh, the pricing of those, but certainly some are not. Here we go, we're sorting 487 parts into one drawer, and we're done. Alright, so here's the first culprit we're going to try to correct here. It's in 1464. Alright. And it's 74 cents. It's ridiculous. Let's try... Oh, let's try... 15. Next. Alright, here's the next one. That needs a little bit of uh, talking to. I'm just gonna... Just copy the same thing. I mean, maybe the quantity might not have a difference. This is definitely a lot less quantity than the dark blue. So there's not going to be as many, so maybe I'll do that to 20 cents instead. Sounds like a good place. And at the end, I'll, I might go back and edit some of these prices once I see the final for everything here. Alright, so I have everything put away. Very fast. Very fast. Um, and I only changed a couple of prices. I know, you know those two I showed you and a couple others, but not very much. So let's see. That is perfect. I was thinking it'd be, you know, around 400. I'm happy with that. So, because of the amount of time this took me, um, you know, you gotta take about, say, $100 off that, so I'll get 259 back. So I'll double my money, you know, minus fees and time, <laughs> make 100 bucks on this. But I spent a half hour parting it out, so it's, you, it's this could be considered one of the price leaders. Um, obviously, they probably would buy more things somebody that wanted some of these parts that it draws them in because I have really low prices on some of this stuff uh, but I would say that's more especially for a retail price of an, an item that's more realistic on what you should be getting part of value wise if you know people wouldn't be buying these to part them out probably if they saw that as a part of value initially they might because of the ease of it that's why I did it um, so that's how we do things around here. And that is it. I gotta put them away. Alright, we're on Thursday. It is my last day of work before I have five days off. Amazing, huh? So, Brick Owl has two orders, and those are already backed up. I did that last night. Bricklink has five orders, and it's only 34 lots. <laughs> this one had six items. 36 bucks, one of those are poly bags. Wonder. And then eBay have not checked yet. There's nothing, I guess. Keeps doing that. <laughs> oh, let me just click that. Try this again. There we go. Nine items. All right, on to my second Bricklink order. Um, where'd he go? He wasn't here long. It's going goodbye. Here's something I typically don't do, but nobody in America had this head for sale here. So I put Playwear in print loss. And let's find that here. 241. That's pretty, I mean, it's almost, I almost threw it out, but with a helmet on, it's not, I mean, it, you still have a complete figure and the main eyes and mouth part are pretty good but nothing else is <laughs> anyway that was uh, 50 cents and the other ones are over 
from other countries are like over two or three bucks. So got a note on this order. Keep up the good work. And always remember to enjoy what you do. Thank you. I like to say that to people too. <laughs> Let's see what they got. Alright, there's the order. I got the monkey kid. Poly bag. I have one more remaining after I think I already sent one out. I think I put three complete ones for sale, so by the time you're seeing this, I'm sure it's gone. <laughs> um, but thank you. Thank you for the order. Thanks for the support of the channel. Appreciate it. Alright, there's the last order. Six items. 36 bucks. Free shipping. That's funny because um, sometimes I look at what torsos or different parts come to different figures and then I make them, like this one. And that one has the... I didn't, I didn't know there was one with a quiver, but there is. And this one is uh, says it's a Lego brand store female. Um, Lily is the name. And it's almost seven bucks. No one in America has it for sale. I put it for sale yesterday. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I don't know if I can. I don't have any more torsos anyway. That tor like I just got some, the bottom halves, but I need torsos, so I'll put that back for sale. And then, obviously, this is the prize of this order. So, great stuff. That's it for brick like and brick owl. And eBay's already out the door here, and it is 6:03 a.m. So I'm going to quickly print these labels out and get to work here. I think I'm going to do that toy store real quick. That should take five minutes to upload those 21 pieces. They're all going to be in the same drawer probably. Last time I did it, I had them in, I think this one? No, that was a used part drawer. And that's used. i got to clear this out. This is this one. This one got taken over by regular pieces though because I still have the Spider-Man that I did. I have two of those Duplo Electro Spider-Man ones, so I'll probably use a shoebox this time. All right, I'm done shipping. It's upstairs ready for someone to take out. And should I do this? Or should I do that? It only takes a half an hour, right? I'll do that this weekend. All right, so I opened the box, dumped everything out right into here. Um... New shoebox number 25, so I put the remarks there, and we submit for edit. The stupid light in ahead of me, I gotta figure that out. And we're waiting for nothing here. So that's all I did. So everything should have NSB 25 in the remarks. I'm not gonna change any prices because these are heavy items. I want them to be a little bit more because if you buy a lot, they're gonna be free shipping. Oh, that one has to go. I think in the other, I just delete that out of there. I think it's in the other one I just opened. And good prices on minifigs, and then delete. I don't think there's any reason to put those instructions for sale. And we verify. Paid seven bucks for the set. I'll end up getting tw over 20, 25, around there, so. And that is quick and easy. All right, my next uh, course of action is to finish that pirate's bag. Probably a half hour into that left, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through all of this, and that might be it. I don't know. I have these two sets. That one is I've confirmed complete, but the one is not. And then there's a bin of all these old pieces I need to do something with. Um, I know this, what sets some of these are to it. I was trying to complete a couple of them this thing, whatever that is, building with people set, and then I already sold these antennas out of here a while ago, <laughs> like 15 bucks each, there was like three of them, um, but a lot of these parts are here, not all of them, I think I must eBay, eBay this, and these two sets together, that's a good possibility, because I have to see how much some of this is worth. I don't really know. <laughs> so I'd like I like the parts to my store, but we'll see. We were cleaning out my shelves last past weekend, and we found this Chinese art limited edition. Twelve hundred outstanding pieces of Chinese art through a unique medium of three-dimensional color photography. Um, this is a rare item. I need to get for eBay. I'm not sure. I thought there was something in here. Oh yeah. 
there's a there's a reel. It's like a preview of it. Is this a person preview? Yeah. I think this is their way of trying to <laughs> sell their thing. It comes in like these book volumes. It's pretty cool. And then it, this, I don't know, is Viewmaster. I gotta get rid of it. I have a box full of probably 2,000 Viewmaster reels still. And I should probably, I kept all the nicest condition ones. Um, not sure why, <laughs> but they're worth the most, so. this mess up and then I do have one Bricklink order from Poland that I want to get open because there's stuff I can release on eBay immediately get those up for sale and then we go Ooh, compass compasses are always good all right so I took the rest of my time I actually decided to do this one um, I have the mini figs and the shark here and I'm only missing one of these long uh, black ones so far. And I, I mean, I didn't look much at all. I'm missing that flag. And, um, is there, what else is one other thing? Uh, that's it. That was it. I gotta get the coins though. I didn't get those coins to put in there. But yeah, so that's a 75 cent piece. That's a 50 cent piece. And those are cheap. I, mean, I, I probably will find that. I thought I thought I had a bunch of those somewhere, but I probably will find one before I need before I get it in an order. Uh, but that's a twenty dollar set there. All right, the pirate stuff is gone. This is the last thing I did. We have a nice canoe with stickers on four sides. So this guy was here. I just built. I could build one more of him right now. I don't have any more heads or torsos. I have the headgears, but that's about it. But this is going to go on eBay as a nice one. All right, we're opening this order from Poland. I believe it's 200 bucks or close to it. <laughs> what I spent here. I guess I'll try to keep it in the box. They're probably all organized nicely and I'm gonna mess it all up. Ooh, let's start with this bag. I came to the store because I was out of these Vitruviuses and they did me well. So I found the cheapest in the world and went there and actually it's a store that I bought from quite a few times I've noticed. Um, we got some other things they had, and then they got 50 of those, and I just bought some other cheap thing, like the cheapest stuff they had, the part out that was, it's not really the best part out value, but it's about double. Um, I bought those before, and I, I did check my parts to see if I still had some. I had some of the parts, but not all of them, so I sold out some of the parts on that, and uh, I think that's it. Just a 50 droid, droidicas, and then I think I got maybe 10 of these. There wasn't many of those. I just got some. Yep, that is it. I just got to go through this now. So I decided, well, I am going to go through this. I'm, I have this other case just full of stuff, so I might as well kind of do them together. Maybe I'll find groups of things that go together. But mostly the accessories and hair, hair and stuff is what I'm, and helmets. That's why I'm doing it. So. All right, what's the best process of going through this stuff? This is two different things, two different um, purchases, I guess you'd call it. Collections, people's collections, I don't know. Uh, so I did the accessories out of there first. I can get these out of there and put those away too. Um, I have some spots opened up. Uh, so I'm going through the hats and hairs. And now that I have spots opened up, I'm identifying certain things for certain, certain themes. Obviously these are already Star Wars, both of these. These are a mix of a few things. I think this is mostly city, and this is a mix of some things that I can start to see where things can go other places. I think. Oh yeah, I just found his shell. And what was I missing on him? Because I have him in here. Oh, I need the legs. So I will be able to use those legs and complete one there, get that for sale right away. I right know I already have him for sale. I put them on Bricklink, I don't know, but I'll go through. Oh, I think, I don't know if I remember seeing this. It's got a little bit of um, marks on the neck, but that's fine. 
that'll be photographed on eBay. I think I have everything else for this guy. Maybe, maybe not. I, I know, I know, I just recently sold it. Oh, I have the red torso and I have the hat. Nice. That's a big seller. Perfect. Boom, there he is. So he is like average $18 on Bricklink. I'm guessing, you know, and those prices are skewed. Okay, so people actually want a ton more for him. 46 on average out of 10. Holy goodness. Uh, oh yeah, one cheapest is $55 in America. That's just ridiculous. Wow. Anyway, I'll probably put him for like 30 bucks on eBay. Well, we're gonna accomplish at least one thing that I wanted to do, clear out a case, but it's that case I want to clear out. <laughs> This one is out, but with the rest of the stuff here, mostly just minifigure parts. It's just a lot faster than accessories, <laughs> honestly. I put a lot of the stuff away, and the reason I do it... So I have a, I have a Lego Movie one going here. Um, series one here. The reason I do it is so that when I get a ton of stuff, then I can bulk upload it or build pigs from it. So, like this one will go in my Imperial Officer, and so on. So, keep on going. Oh, I didn't know that. She's throwing off the goods here. I forgot poison barbs apparently. Alright, now I'm down just a couple groups here. Actually this one. I can put that away real quick. Um, and I'm going to start piling up more stuff to list on Bricklink like that. Or to complete and list on Bricklink, one of the two. Um, what should I start with? I'll start with that obviously, but then I will go to CMF. That's easy for me. All right, here's a look at all the CMF stuff. All this is going to Brooklyn. <clears throat> maybe, maybe not this one. I'm yeah, not, not going to do that one. Cause that one is a good one. So that's what we're doing. I'm actually going to get through all this stuff today. I'm on the last thing. There you go. These two go back in there. And most of this is just going to get put away over in my Star Wars stuff. Most of it. Um, I might try to build a few figures or put some things onto Bricklink. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, there's, I have like 20 minutes before I'm done working. I'll get this cleared up and move on. Alright, it says I added 153 lots today at minimal sales. Nice. 9,800. I think I got that last week too. <laughs> I'm not sure. Hopefully, um, I'm starting five days off in a few minutes here uh, for my my day job. Yeah, it's, I've just been on off for three full months, and now I get um, five days off. So I had I had a planned vacation before I went off for my daughter's birthday. So that's what we're doing. Um, so I got I just gotta sync this with Brick Packer and be done with it. Alright, so it's Thursday night, and this video is to be opened on a separate video possibly, not sure yet, $400 pick a brick order from Lego directly, and then this is the poly bag bandit from Canada. <laughs> Sounds like there's some neat stuff in here, I mean I have no idea, just the way it talks, there could be some great stuff, so I think I'm going to do a separate video doing those too, not really sure, but this video is ending regardless. This will be in a separate video or the next vlog, or both, a little bit of both. So that's that's all. Let's go check out the part out pile, I guess.
Thank you.